I just did this octopus to match my octopus hat, and now I'm gonna do some eyeshadow to match. Here's the tutorial. First, I'm putting on the dark blue right here and right here, really packing it in. Now I'm gonna go in circles to fan it out. I'm packing in a purple to match right here. Now I'm adding a peachy pink shade. And then lastly, adding a yellow on top. I'm gonna use Hardy Rump from the new ColourPop palette to put right here in this little center. There we go, and then I'm gonna kind of fan it out. I'm gonna add on that eyeliner going straight up and over. Adding the darker color in the waterline. Basically doing the same thing as you did up there. Lastly, putting on the liner. And all done. Y'all wanted to see a tutorial on how I did the doe eye. So it starts with the eyebrow. Instead of arching them like we did for the siren eye, we're gonna keep it pretty natural. Using my NYX Cosmetics Thick It Stick It Gel, we're just brushing it out. Just like that. Now for eyeliner, instead of pulling it out to elongate our eye, we're gonna push it up to widen our eyes. So from the waterline, we're drawing a line straight up, keeping it fairly short. Pull it back. So it's looking a little something like that. And then when I'm finishing lining my eye right above the pupil, I'm gonna make it a little thicker. And that helps widen her up and round her out. Now we hit the lower lash line with a white eye pencil. And bringing that into the inner corner. Add some bronzer under that waterline. And some bronzer to the crease above. Shimmer on the lid. Curl lashes. Top and bottom mascara. And this is the final look. You can really see a difference from far away. Currently I'm getting ready for VidCon and I decided that I was going to do some fun makeup to match this shirt that I found from Goodwill. I do have a square face so I'm going to kind of focus everything right here, make it more narrow. I'm trying to fake everybody out at VidCon and like cut my nose where it looks like a butt. Butt! <laughs> We're going to do a lot of blush. I love blush. I'm about to start on the eye makeup and so I see these little butterflies so I think I'll do butterfly makeup. I'm going to be basic. I started on the outline. I feel like this is a pretty solid... A solid set. You know, originally, I was gonna do like this little pink and orange, but now I'm deciding to do this blue to make it pop. What you're gonna do is you're gonna add a little bit of blue on top of here and kind of fade it down. Taking this lighter blue and just kind of fading it in. Last color with the blue. Then using new money from the Tarte palette, we're gonna shove that shimmery shine in here. And then using that bubblegum pink and kind of just blending it in. So fun fact with butterflies, you want to have a more unsteady hand because it gives it a more natural look. You don't want like super straight lines. And for me personally, that's something I struggle with because I have such a steady hand. So this is the end product. I'm like literally thriving for it. A jewel fell off on this end, so I have to glue it back on. But let me show you the outfit. Here we go. Ready? 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 Okay, yeah. She's giving Y2K. Even the white pants, you know, we got a little moment there. I am loving it. I'm sticking marshmallows to my face. I really don't want to rip my eyebrows out, so I'm gonna glue them down. Dry, dry, dry your brows, dry them to your face. Time to get down to business. I dare someone to count how many marshmallows I have on my face. Bloop. Wait, that was kind of embarrassing. Also, I have to leave my house in 30 minutes. So basically, we need to pick up the pace. Not everyone pray to Timothy Chalamet that my eyebrows don't come out. Marshmallow brow, marshmallow brow. We're going for a big patch of land here. Is it just me or am I literally defying gravity right now? My friend's picking me up in 15 minutes to go to our brunch reservation. Boop. When people ask me what I do for a living, how am I supposed to tell them this? Marshmallow mustache. We're getting awfully close, you guys. I think this is the final marshmallow. <gasps> so this is the final result, you guys. I absolutely have no idea how I'm getting this off.
I am currently sick, and so I'm going to dress up like Spider-Man to make myself feel better. Excuse the redness on my chin. That's just some contact dermatitis. Is this foundation a little light? Yeah, just a little bit, but I can fix it. Looky there, a nice contoured nose. Blush is my favorite thing on this earth. So I kind of made this little nose thing on accident by using blush and just going like that. Crazy concept. I'm doing black, but I want to keep my eyes wide still, so I'm doing it under and not in the crease. I have the Tom Holland version of the suit, so I'm doing a little copper. I'm going to curl my hair and then pick out my lips because I'm not too sure yet, and I'll put on the suit as well. I finished, I finished, and don't make fun of me because this is off Amazon, and it is meant for a boy, but it's okay, it's fine. Toby, I need you to not be in the video right now. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I am now Spider-Girl. Who needs Spider-Man? We don't need Spider-Man, we need Spider-Woman. So, here, Spider-Woman. Hold up, first of all, happy Pride Month, everyone. Second of all, this, this is so cool. I need to try this right now. Today I'm not feeling my hair, so we're gonna be doing we're gonna be doing this. Before the makeup, I'm just gonna braid my hair. Okay, I am braided, and now I'm thinking, should I do my makeup first or should I put the wig on first? I decided to go for the wig first. Okay, so I'm gonna keep the face makeup to a minimum. Okay, so then I'm doing the contour. I usually do put it on with a brush, but today I'm like especially lazy. So this is what what you're supposed to have on your face at this point and then we do a little bit of blender rooney okay then i'm going in with the concealer once again and also i'm doing a little bit of blush rooney i just love this phase of doing your makeup where you know absolutely nothing like you don't know where it's gonna go and then i took a too long pause and now i'm in a hurry this is how i'm late this is how i'm late i start on time but my pauses they're just too long i think no one can judge me though because i had to vibe out to a justin bieber bop from 2012 Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, at this point, I'm gonna do my freckles with the spray. We know about the spray. Everyone knows about the spray. It's giving farts. But we can fix it, we can fix it. Okay, now the only thing that's left is the lash, lash part. Okay, I'm gonna have my own approach. I'm going in with a white um, eyeliner. I'm starting out with the yellow and then I'm going out. Okay, I'm going into an unknown direction. Here I'm gonna go in with some green because I'm missing the green. Okay, I completely changed this look. I'm so sorry. I just changed it. It is absolutely nothing like hers. It is absolutely not showing up on my lashes. I'm gonna add the lashes. And the last thing is the lips. And pretty much this would be it. I am so sorry that it's not like the look in the beginning. But it does, it has its own charm. I'm gonna go do a transition. I need, I need to use this look. If you wanna see that, stay tuned. In the meantime, what do we think? one who's for you page is full of this passport makeup that apparently looks good on everyone what is this it looks so good i'm almost in disbelief and everyone who tries it looks amazing so i want to look amazing i'm gonna follow the original tutorial and you know pray okay so our bestie says first we do the eyebrows i'm using the abh brow freeze the point is to make your face look really like and she said it's really important for your skin to be glowy so I'm just gonna do a little bit of skincare. She also said glowy primer. We are really, like, we're really trying to catch that glow. Now my suitcase with my makeup was lost, and this is the only one I have. But I do actually like this one. It's really like, ooh, I love it. Like, so apparently we're gonna use this one. Then the foundation. For this specific situation, maybe not full, full coverage, but like, pretty full coverage i have a great idea actually i'm gonna try and actually like take a passport picture okay then we are doing the concealer i always use this concealer it's the dior forever skin correct thing in my opinion this one is unmatched i've never used a better concealer now for the pictures the eyebrows need to be really symmetrical okay then we are doing the contour so we're going right here right here face like this <laughs> And you want to follow the line. Okay, then we're going to need some on the chin right here. This is some uh, complicated reconstruction. This is kind of what it is for the nose. And then also here in the eyes and lift them up. 
Okay, then we are taking a really light concealer and putting it in these these places. Okay, so I blended it in and I added some blush. Okay, for the powder, I'm gonna mix the Huda powder with the ABH powder. First, I'm gonna press in the powder and then I'm also gonna bake. This is a very complicated reconstruction. Liner, but like really small. A really, really small itty bitty wing. She's not using lashes, but I have no lashes, okay? I have no lashes. To majorly overline my lips and gloss and this would be it i think it looks really cute now all that's left is to take the passport picture i'm gonna go make my roommate take my picture and i'm gonna post it on here for you guys to see tell me how do we like it